This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to another Raw Paints today. Thanks to our good friend uh, Mr. Hill who decided to help us out and he sent us uh, which was very nice and I have to thank him but I'm gonna thank him when we do our review of Mythic Battle uh, Pantheon and I will thank him very heavily um, uh, for, for giving up a set he had two sets and he sold it to us for just what he got and I thought that was very nice of him this was a game I probably never would have got I had a chance to get my hands on it but he gave me a chance to get this and today we are starting with Atlas here. We are going to be painting this guy. He comes like this, but when we're done with him, I'm pretty sure that he's going to look like this. Yeah, because we just painted him. Yeah, I, yeah, okay. Well, anyways, how do we do it? Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to go down to the table. You can do this. Follow along. It's easy. Piece of cake. Let's go down to the table and start painting Atlas from Mythic. Right, this is when you get excited is when you have a, a creature this size okay this thing is huge and atlas is just massive so i really thought about this how to start this off and what we're going to start off with is our old favorite of course kessel of flesh because that is the biggest part of this guy is his flesh and what we're just going to do i watered some down over here and i'm just going to put a nice thin coat now you're going to have to go over this now you don't have to be fancy with this because you're gonna you're gonna have to put a couple coats number one you're gonna have to you know you're gonna try not to hit things but it's not gonna hurt you to get it on like the cloth and stuff like that so you can be a little rushed here and go through this and you can see I got it watered down really nice so it goes over and it's not taking over and filling any of these this beautiful beautiful miniature oh my god these th this is just a tremendous tremendous figure I mean just beautiful beyond belief and you know I mean look, look watch watch when this just goes over his chest see I'm not worried about getting any of the chain or the the, the bandages or anything like that my main thing here is coverage right now and I just want to get it on there and I want to cover this entire not the entire model but all his skin I want to get his flesh done first and then I'll fill everything else in later and that's the best way to do it and of course I'm going to try not to to get all these things but he has bandages on him and stuff like that and I'm not worried about that I'm really not now I'm going to go over this a couple times we'll be back and uh, I'll show you what we do next now, as you can see I kind of got started here but what we're going to be taking is some dry bark and the reason I get started uh, I don't want this to be like an hour video we really just want to show you how to get this in there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work this all into this because this is actually a cloak that's underneath that's covered with rope I thought it was his skin but actually no there's a whole thing going on here now I'm not worried about getting the rope I'm not worried about getting his hair either as I work this in uh, all I'm worried about is just getting the main part here and what's gonna happen is we're gonna have to paint each rope individually which is going to be a bit of a task but it's gonna pay off and it's really gonna give a nice look um, especially if we do it correctly um, so I wanted to just get that inside there and I'm not worried about getting the outside rope I just want the inside so it's nice and dark the way I want it so when we go to highlight and bring that out uh, we've got a good base there so I'm gonna finish this up I'm gonna be doing his straps here along here and uh, then from there we'll go to our next color and we'll be back of course now next we're going to take a skaven blight dinge and we are going to go and paint all of his loincloth 
And we want to be pretty much Johnny on the spot here because the last thing we want to do is hit all that flesh that we just got through kind of working on. You know, you don't want to have to keep retouching stuff up. So, you know, make sure that you have a brush that you're very comfortable with. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable and you want to do it a certain way, you take a bigger brush and just go over the bigger areas and then get a finer brush to go over some of the tight areas, like right around the skin here. And as you can see, I'm just going to get this all on here. And then once we get that all kind of squared away and in there, and you can see I'm not going to hit that rope there. Nope, nope, nope. But I'm going to make sure that I get this, this, this really nice gray because we're going to be able to highlight this gray outwards and really kind of do a lot of things with it. And it's, it's really going to, it's going to sell well. It breaks up the brown and, and some of the other things that we're going to have in there. So I'm going to finish this up and Next, we'll be right back. What I want to do is I want to take some of bad in black and I want to bring his hair back. Okay, as you can see, I got all that flesh in there because I was just whipping away. And this is one of those times when it's just time to touch everything up a bit because you're, we're getting close to doing that flesh and we want to make sure that we have everything where it needs to be. So we want to get in there and we want to get that. Now we're going to lighten all that up and everything, his hair. You know, it's not going to be jet black. But uh, I assure you that it's not going to be a uh, flesh color either. So I'm going to finish this all up and touch up his hair and his beard here. And then we're going to come back and we are going to start working on the rope. Because I really think that we need to get that rope squared away. So again, as you can see, I started a bit here, but I'm taking a Zandri dust. And I really like to do use this for um, for this. You want to water it down a bit, but you don't want it too runny because you don't want it. You want it to get a nice coat. You may have to go over it once or twice. But all you see that I'm doing here is I'm just following the rope. And this is going to be the hardest part of this whole model is you have to go and do every bit of this rope. You almost wish that they threw a chain on them because you could just dry brush it on there. But no, we've got to paint the rope in one at a time. And take your time and try not to mess up because you just don't want to have any wasted motion. That's the worst thing of all. It's just having wasted motion. As you can see, I'm just, I got a nice thin brush and I'm just taking my time. I'm not rushing. I got my watered down paint over here. I'm going to start over here, especially with, with it nice and wet and on that brush and just nice and easy. I want to go right down the middle here, boom, 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 boom. And as you can see, there's a, a lot to do. So I'm going to get this done. And then when I come back, we'll move on to probably the final basic no actually we have two more colors for our our, our basic uh, colors that we need to get on here and then we're going to start um, doing washes and dry brushing out all right so we got that webbing and we got around his his waist and everything like that now we want to get uh, our next color in here and this one's of course a real easy one this is just getting the lead belcher in and you know i'm going to take a bigger brush here but when i get closer and i start having to do those wristbands i want to go to a smaller brush so i want to make sure i get all the area here uh, i want to get all over here and i got it nice and watered down so may need a couple of coats of this but these chains are going to really make this guy stand out and that's what i'm looking forward to because this is kind of, we're getting right to the home stretch where we got all our base coats out on him. And then we're going to start, yeah, you guessed it, buddy. We are going to start doing what we like to do. And that's highlight everything. And uh, really get things to really come and pop out. And you'll be surprised. It looks like garbage right now. But how, you know, we can make things really kind of stand out very, very quickly. 
always try you know on bigger areas to use your bigger brush you know it, it helps saves time there's no wasted motion you know and then you know when you get close to certain things and you don't feel confident with the bigger brush uh, just switch on over wash this brush out and move on to the next one you know what I'm saying this way you're just constantly moving in a perpetual motion now these chains really make make this look cool all right so I'm gonna finish up we gotta I gotta take care of that inner circlet there and then I want to I want to hit all those studs that he has on him and then we got to get around his wrist we'll be back uh, with our final base coat after this okay so I, I skipped over this part because it's just so simple because I just took some Yushabi bone and all I did was get a little in his mouth for his teeth I worked around the bandages that he has on him around these these cusps here and now uh, we're just going to let this dry and then we're going to move on to the next part of this so we will be back that's for sure all right next now that everything's all nice and dry we are going to take some agrath earthshade which is a very great wash and we are just going to start bringing out some of the detail of this fantastic model and by doing that it's really going to bring this to life and that's what we want to do here so i'm going to go right over my man's face here because uh, let's get a little bit of that and i really want to work this wash in here because i really want this all to sit in all these recesses he has such tremendous tremendous build on him that um this this really this wash is just really going to bring out a lot here and we really don't want it to sit in one spot we really want to work this in here and and really get it like in his ab section you know there are some people i know that actually try to think that they're like models but they're really not but anyways we're going to keep on just working this wash in here and getting this all into the recesses and you can see how this is all going to just come together right see how his face starts starts to come out there and we're going to paint those eyes in there and we have you know we're going to darken everything up so we can lighten it up and that's what we're trying to do here so by by just getting this wash and working it and making sure it doesn't pull up that's the key right now is just make sure that we get it in all the the recesses it sits in the recesses and doesn't pull up all right i'm going to finish this up and then we're going to come back and we're, i'm going to show you how we're going to start lightening this guy all right, up. so we got this guy pretty well under control as you can see now what i really want to do is i kind of want to start bringing this skin back a little bit not too much i just want to i i very lightly kind of work over some of the flat areas in here and all I'm doing is taking you see how that that's working for his chest and his abdomen I don't want to take out any of that really nice detail that I put in there okay I don't want to take that out but I very lightly want to bring these abs out as you can see and just by taking some some Kessler flesh and working and working it in and taking you know putting it on your brush and taking it off pretty much and all you're going to do is over the stronger part of the muscle as you can see the the higher end you want to just you want to give it some some depth and that's what we're doing because he's not all I mean he's dirty but he's not always dirty and just taking and bringing that out right in here now you you want to make sure that you're careful because if you if you if you muddy it up too much what's going to happen is you're going it's going to look cloudy and we don't want it to look cloudy we want see how that muscle just starts to sit up and then we come underneath over in the forearm a bit you know just enough over the top of the hands 
and just dry brush over that a bit so it, it comes it, it just starts to sit up you see how that sits up right in there and that's exactly what we want to do so I'm going to finish this up and then we're going to come back and we'll we'll continue on next I'm going to take some of your shabby bone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over these bandages very lightly now remember we painted these in with you shabby bone so now what we want to do is we want to take that wash out a bit but we want that wash to sit in the recesses so all I'm doing is just kind of going over it and really making it stand out just nice and easy that's all you got to do nice and easy you can even take a little and just run it across some of this rope if you want that to sit out a little bit better as you can see just a nice over the top a little bit it adds just a little bit something it gives that rope a little bit more depth and and that works too and then in the back here see how that just sits up now now all of a sudden those bandages sit right up all right next what we're going to do is we're going to take some long beard gray and, and we're going to use this for two things first of all i've already started but you can see where I'm starting to bring some of that lineage out there of his actual um, cloth. You know, we don't want it to just be straight gray. We want to have a little bit of everything in there and just very nice lightly. The other thing I want to do is I want to be very careful because I don't want this to take over his hair. But I don't, I, I want to put some shadow into his hair. So I'm very, very lightly okay very lightly and very carefully going over his locks here and I'm gonna go through his beard and that's gonna help a lot and then over his mustache and you can see what we're getting here or where I'm getting at and I'm being very very careful not too heavy you got to be careful because you can ruin everything. He has black hair, but the light is going to hit it certain ways. Okay, let's make sure that we don't wash out the camera here. And I just ever so carefully, ever so carefully, run it down and give it some depth. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we're looking for. Just enough. Just enough. And we're going to take our time with it and we're just going to work that in there and i think that really works and it sells his whole facial features and that's what we're looking to do we're looking to bring depth to the, that face i mean that's a that's a wonderfully sculpted face and it, and it works perfectly and if we have a little bit left we can just kind of dance across here Make sure everything sits up nicely. Don't be afraid to really get in there and rub that. And we're going to come in the back side here. And this, this was a very, very easy model to take care of. So I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, that he looks ticked off. He's angry. I mean, he's been imprisoned. And uh, somebody's going to have him fighting for him. So I think that's a pretty good deal. So I'm really happy with that. That's perfect for what we're looking for. And we're off to a great start with Mythic Battles Pantheon. And I'm looking forward to doing more stuff as time goes on. So let's send it up top and get my final thoughts on Atlas and Mythic Battles All Pantheon. Right. So here you go. I think that's a pretty decent job. It's nothing fantastic. Anybody can do this. You guys can do this. You know you can do it. Come on now. And yeah, it's not the greatest background, but you know, I just wanted to give you a good look. I'll show you how to do the bases uh, when we go to some of the other guys. And uh, there you go. Atlas is all set. And now we're going to start attacking that box set. Um, I really, really like what they're doing. And this is a, a mini expansion that got thrown in there. So uh, we're gonna start tacking the box, but he looks so interesting, I couldn't wait to do him, and we got him done in about, about an hour and a half. Not bad, I think that's perfect for what we wanna do. All right, there you go, Atlas. 
So as you saw, we did, we did a nice little circle around before I came totally up top. Um, really easy. Piece of cake. Nothing hard about this if you, if you just stay within those techniques and take your time. These are easy. You guys can do this. I know you can do it, and I believe you can do it, and I try to make it easy. Like I said, our whole basis is to get all our base colors on, darken it up and try to light out and that's the that's the theory that i've always gone with and it seems to work there's certain situations that will change that but but i usually make videos to show you so if you keep that in mind and don't lose the focus on what you're trying to do you'll have a decent figure for you know for playing the board game and that's all that matters is getting it down to the board and painted the way you guys want it to be and that's what's most important and I think that's where it really means something is when you do this yourself you put it on your board you have your friends come over and you feel immersed and sucked in to the theme because you painted and you're not playing with a bunch of pla uh, you know gray plastic nothing wrong with that but hey you want to build theme here's a good way to do it you can do it paint it yourself all right that's enough for raw paints We'll be back with more stuff. We've got tons of stuff. We're always painting something, so and we're having a great time doing it. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon.